Hello, my name is Garrett Guimont, and I've been the head strength and conditioning coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers for the last 10 years. I'm here today to talk to you about an all-surface sled called the Tank from Torque Fitness. What it is is a sled on wheels, but that's not its genius. Its genius comes from its frictionless magnetic braking system. The variable resistant braking system is why the Tank is my go-to when it comes to sled training. With the tank's crossover capabilities of going from a field slash running product to a strength and conditioning product, its multi-use ca capabilities will have you loving the tank as much as I do. Let's take, take a look at the tank. The first thing you're going to notice is how sturdy it's built. Thus, its name, the tank. Second, you'll notice that it is on wheels. When you pump the tank's wheels up to 20 PSI, the tank can be used on any surface without damaging the tank or the surface you are working on. We use the tank both inside and outside. What Torque Fitness did is to make sure that the tank would hold up in all environments by electroplating the frame using a UV resistant paint. This is a great feature and has been a welcome design as we leave our tanks outside sometimes and they look like new. The next thing that jumps out at you is the weight horns. The weight horns on the tank are like any other sled. The weight you put on the sled will be the weight you, you would be pushing or pulling. On the tank, the weight you put on the weight horns is to push the tank to the ground. Torque recommends a minimum of 270 pounds to gain more traction and to prevent wheel skidding on the surface in which you are using the tank. I use the tank on many different applications, so I modify the amount of weight I put on the weight horns to fit the exercise I am using the tank for. And you will do the same as the tank is only limited to the creativity that your mind and knowledge allows for. The last thing to talk about on the tank is the force level box and the force level handle. This is where you increase or decrease force for many different tank movements and lifting styles. With the understanding that the tank is like no other sled on the market, because it's variable magnetic resistance, the harder you move, the greater resistance becomes. The less you move, the less resistant it becomes. This allows you to maintain perfect form for any exercise on the tank that is big here at the Steelers, as we have a saying when we are working, we always want to check the tech. This allows you a two-way go when using the tank, no matter what force level you have selected, as your own output plays into how you start get into and finish each tank movement pattern. No matter what force level you choose, neutral, one, two, or three, you and the machine work in synchronicity together. Let's look at each force level and talk about a few of the movements and exercises you could be using with the tank. N, or neutral, is used to move the tank where you want to. We use the tank both inside and outside, so the neutral settings allow for easy movement. It is also a great setting to get warmed up on with your pushing movements as well as your backward movements. The wheels move freely and there is little to no activation of the frictionless magnetic braking system. Torque Fitness never wants you to pull the tank in the N or neutral or force level one setting. This is for safety reasons as you can apply enough force that the tank could roll up on the user if he did not clear the tank post exercise. With that being understood, the tank will continue to roll. Do all of your pulling movements on force level two and three. Now that we understand the tank will continue to move, I use the tank on all force levels for a variety of different movements. Like any exercise device, you must coach your people to perform what it is you're looking for in any exercise. The tank is no different. In addition, we talked about earlier, this product is open to you and your creativity. It has no ceiling. However, it is up to the coach to coach your people and to ensure the safety of the user, especially when you know the specific factors of the product. Force level one is great for multi-plane work, dynamic warm-up type of movement, weight room type of movements, and your speed power system. You can chew up more ground on force level one, and it is a great way to open up speed endurance as well as blowing up your lungs and elevating your heart rate. Force level two, this level will open up all movement patterns, including pulling. Force level two is where you can start really uh, working on your accelerated power. 
The distance you would use is a little bit different than force level one, but again, you are only hostage to your own creativity. Some of the movements are pushing and pulling forward, backpedal walking into backpedal running, long power side shuffles into side to side shuffles, karaoke power walking into karaoke, both low leg and high leg karaoke's, partner pushing. This is where the construction of the tank is great because you do not have to rotate the sled around. The dual handles allow you to push and go. Partner pull and decelerating using both of the pulling anchors. One person pulling the sled veers off while the other person decelerates the tank to a stop. Some of the strength and conditioning type movements that we use are quad walking, hamstring kicks, walking rows, with an elastic return. Elastic is hooked up to the tank on both of the anchors and as you pull the elastic has it returned to its spot. We do walking chest press with elastic return. This is a great movement for finishing off blocks. Power press with elastic return. Great to unload the hips. Trunk rotation with elastic return. Those are just a few of the movements that we use on the tank. I think that you will get my point that the tank is a major player in taking gross strength and turn it into performance strength on the field. That is exactly what we are attempting to do on a daily basis. Force level three is the mag daddy of all the settings on the tank. This set setting is where you can get explosive power. Using this setting, you should cover the least amount of ground and be very specific in what you are working on. We go through all of our movement patterns, but we focus on specific steps within those patterns. Again, the ability to explode and drive people off the line of scrimmage is what our game is all about. Force level three is the perfect setting to help us accomplish those goals. The tank is like no other sled device and there is no better product to transfer strength from the weight room to the field. The tank can be used by anyone looking to unleash their best. From youth to pro, from male to female, the tank will take all you can give and give all you can take.